This tutorial will show you how to set up Shadow Rando, a Shadow the Hedgehog randomizer for the US GameCube version. To begin, go to the releases page. Scroll down to the newest release zip and the assets. I'm on Windows, so I can either pick the .NET 8 version or the self-contained version. I'm going to pick self-contained. If you don't know which one to pick, just go with self-contained. I'm going to extract it. Once that's done, I open the folder, and I can run this shadowrando.desktop.exe. Once this appears, we follow the steps here of the extraction of the game and launching. Run my dolphin. First I'm going to make a new file portable.txt, completely optional, but I recommend this, as we'll be modifying some settings that could break other games. Once this is ready, go ahead and pick the folder of your Shadow the Hedgehog ISO. In this case, I'm using Reloaded 1.1. It doesn't matter if you use the original, though. Right-click, Properties. Go to the File System tab. Click Disk, right-click, Extract Entire Disk. Make a new folder dedicated just to the rando, and click Select Folder. Once this is done, close it, go to Config, Paths, Add. Pick your extracted folder and pick the Sys folder. You can close this now, and you'll see this zero-byte file right here. This one is the one you will launch to use the randomizer. We're not quite done because we're going to use the layout randomization, so I need 64 megabyte mode. To do this, follow the steps right here. Config, Advanced, Enable Emulated Memory Size Over, and set this to 64 megabytes. Additionally, if your CPU can handle it, I'd recommend increasing this as well, just because the extra enemies all over the place will make the game run a little bit worse, so if you adjust this, you might get better performance. Lastly, because I'm using a reloaded 1.1 based ROM, I need to do this extra step here. So back on the releases page, Here's the Missing Events Reloaded Based ROMs. I'm going to click that. It'll download. I'm going to extract this. And I'm going to copy all of these, or move them, into my Extracted Game folder in the Events folder. And I just pasted them here. It's not going to say anything about overwriting because they were missing, so now they're added. And there we go. Alright, so now let's pick the Game folder. You want to pick the folder itself, not the Sys folder, not the Files folder. I'm going to turn on randomization. I'm going to exclude any levels. I'm going to turn on layout randomization so I can have custom enemies. Have the weapons on as well by default. Have wild for partners. We'll just have Sonic and Amy. And let's turn on subtitles because it'll be very obvious if it works. And let's generate. All right. So the first level we should expect to see is Black Doom Final Haunt, followed by Glyphic Cannon. OK, it looks like it's working. I'm just going to go ahead and start the first story mission so we can see that it should be Black Doom Final Haunt. Yep, looks like things are good. Hope you enjoy the randomizer. Have fun.